These forests are just so beautiful and so peaceful. But as beautiful as they are, they are also very hard and very challenging to photograph. They are very chaotic and messy places. There is just so much going on everywhere. It is not easy to find a subject that stands out from everything else. There are some things that you can do here. You can use a long lens and focus on the small details of the landscape. You can use a fast lens to blurry the background noise or to frame a subject with a blurry foreground, things like that. There are also wilder and more extreme things that we can do, like a technique called ICM or intentional camera movement. The idea is very basic. It's just to use a slow shutter speed and move the camera as we take the picture. So we create some motion blur. This might be where some draw the line between photography and something else, call it art, call it whatever you want. I think it has the potential to create very powerful images that inspire emotions and feelings in the viewer. And that's all we are trying to do with our photography anyway, right? This is what I'm going to be doing today, some intentional camera movement. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but it should be at least fun. This place is beautiful. I'm going to enjoy this walk, so please uh, join me and let's uh, do this. This type of photography might seem random, more like praying and spraying, taking a bunch of pictures and hoping that one or a few of them will work. But actually, you still have to think about your composition. You still have to think about your subject. Look for some contrast. Look for a strong subject. The motion blur, the movement, is going to help removing those distracting details from the environment, from around the subject. But you still need to find that contrast, that subject that is going to stand out from everything else. When it comes to the technique itself, it depends on what we are trying to achieve, what we are photographing. Here, for example, my main subjects are trees, they are vertical, so I'm focusing on movements up and down, so everything else gets more blurry, more blurred out than the tree. I still want to have a strong subject, I still want the trees to preserve, to keep their shape, a strong shape against uh, the background. But this technique involves a lot of experimentation, so I'm trying all kinds of movements, not so much horizontal, but maybe circular, things like that. I can see the preview on my screen, so that's uh, an advantage, clearly. And yeah, just trying and uh, experimenting with different stuff. Today I'm using my RX100 Mark V. I'm using this camera because it has a built-in ND filter, something that is very useful when it comes to this type of photography, because we are using very slow shutter speeds and the ND filter will help us to get the right exposure. So I have it in shutter speed mode. We can experiment with different shutter speeds. Right now I'm doing almost like half a second. I'm letting the camera choose the ISO and the aperture for that. I have exposure compensation at minus one. And as I said, I have the ND filter on. Another thing I do is I have it in continuous shooting. So I just focus on whatever I wanna capture. I move the camera and hold it and it's gonna take a bunch of shots for me and then I will just go through them and choose the one that I like the most.
there are no rules when it comes to intentional camera uh, photography. Some people like to take a bunch of shots and then they combine them all together in Photoshop uh, to accentuate the effect even more. I don't like to do that. I'm gonna go for just single shots, not because I'm against uh, Photoshop or anything like that. It's because I think that nature is much better at creating amazing compositions and amazing scenes than me. My imagination can only go so far. I trust nature much more when it comes to creating beautiful scenes, beautiful compositions. I'm just here to capture them and they are gonna be much better than whatever I might come up with afterwards at home. But if you are good at that, if your imagination is great and you are good with the Photoshop and that kind of stuff, that's totally fine. The goal here is to create compelling images, to create compelling visuals and to create an emotion and to create art. I think I'm done here. I can't tell if the images are gonna be any good or not. So you'll be the judge. You've seen them by now, hopefully. What I can tell you is that it was fun and I got to create something here. Otherwise it would have been kind of hard because this is, a, as I said, a very beautiful but very busy place. So I got to create something even if that doesn't really work in the end. I don't know, maybe something to keep in mind for the next time you are out there and a technique to try out. Uh, maybe you can come up with uh, something much better than I did uh, here. Hope you enjoyed this video and this uh, little walk here in the woods near Portland, Oregon. Thank you so much for watching again and see you in the next one.